graph to represent this. Obviously, if we're making a bar graph, the first thing we need to do are our axes. So we'll draw those in. Okay. Now, we can pick what we want to put on what axes. We can put the countries on one, numbers on other. I'm going to put the countries across the bottom. So we've got the U.S. We've got Mexico. And you can abbreviate. I don't have a problem with that. Just make sure you don't double abbreviate. For instance, if the countries on the list happen to be Mexico and Montenegro, don't abbreviate both of them with an M. Canada and Chile. I don't know what an abbreviation of Chile would be. All right. Now, the numbers. The numbers. The top of your graph needs to be generally your highest number. Our highest number is 170 here. Okay. So we need to get this graph to go up to 170. Now you could, if you really wanted to be a perfectionist, go up by ones. You'll probably use a sheet of paper per graph doing that. So we want to go up by something that's a little bit easier for us to graph. So you could go by tens. That would be easy because all these are nice rounded off numbers. They're going to fit nicely in ten. You could go by 20s. We could probably even go by 30s, which I think is what I'm going to do because that's a little less writing. Make sure you put zero on the graph. Zero is always the bottom line. I think you know by now, but I'll restate it. I think we did this last year. If, let's say your graph doesn't now start, there's no numbers up until, say, 5,000, okay, and then you go like 5,000 or 6,000, you can do this little squiggly mark here like that, and then say 5,000, and then do 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, if you need to, okay? So, because like if it's a graph that goes like 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, you don't want to go up by 5,000, the graph isn't going to show anything. Not going to do it. But we don't need to do that in this case. Go by the 30s. top out at 180. We don't need to go any higher because our biggest number is only 170. Question so far on what I've done. Okay. So now we can fill in the bars. Now when you make a bar graph, to be proper, the bars should be equal width. Okay. Meaning if you're going to make a bar one inch, they all should be one inch. Okay. If you've got one bar that's one inch and one bar that's like a foot, Okay. That can, in certain instances, have certain meanings as well. Okay. In this case, it doesn't, but it can, so we're going to be proper. Okay. So, U.S., 170. Now, this is the part you like because we don't have 170 on the graph. So, you can kind of make up where 170 is. You know it's between 150 and 180, but where exactly? Well, we're not quite that precise. Enough. Okay, Mexico is at 30. 30 is a number we do have on our graph. So we can go right to the 30 mark. Canada has 20. I can't believe there's volcanoes in Canada, but maybe there are. Something like that, maybe. And 120 in Chile. It's like saying Chile. Okay. Not good. All right. Now there's two things we have left to do. We need to give our graph a title. What would you suggest would be a good title for this graph? And you don't have to go far beyond the obvious. Victoria. Volcanoes. Sure, volcanoes. Why not? Stretch the imagination. Okay. Now, we 
also need to put titles on the x-axis and on the y-axis. Again, you don't need to stretch the imagination much. What's on the x-axis? Countries. Countries. So let's call countries. What's on the y-axis? Numbers. Number. Number of volcanoes. you right now so you don't panic because I know that took us a while and I know it takes a while to do a lot of these graphs. The homework may look long for this evening but I think there's only maybe five or six problems where you're actually making graphs. The rest of them you're going to look at a graph and tell me about it. Okay? So you're not going to be making 18 or 20 graphs tonight. Okay, So you're not going to fill up six pages of notes just trying to do your homework. Okay, So don't panic about that. I'm not that mean. Yeah. Okay, let's move forward. Questions on what I just did in example one? I didn't think so. Okay. Okay. We're on example two now. Example two asks us to use the bar graph to answer the questions below. And the graph is about the number of vacancies at Mallard Apartments. graph, they ask you questions about the graph. So question A in example two asks us which building has the most vacancies. So if your four choices A, B, C, or D, which one has the most vacancies? Dale? B. Yeah, building B has the most vacancies. Okay, it's got six vacancies. How many units are vacant being empty, in building C? Correct. Three. There are three vacancies in building C. Correct. How many units are occupied, meaning being lived in, in building A? Two. Say what? Two. Not two. Three. Not three. Dale? Nine. Nope. Hurt? Six. Nope. Of course I'm going to give you a trick question on day one. The correct answer is we don't know. There could be 20 buildings in each one. We don't know. They never tell us how many buildings are actually there. Top number is just a high number, where it doesn't necessarily mean that's how many buildings there are. So the correct answer to part C is we don't know. per building. So now I'm telling you there's just eight. Okay. How could we make the complex more efficient? Assume there's just eight units in a building. How could I make this thing more efficient? How could I make it run better, cheaper? Any ideas? if I combine the people in those two buildings? There's six vacancies in one, and two in the other. That means together, there's eight apartments that are full. If I move them all to one building, now I've got one whole empty building. That's a building now I don't have to heat, I don't have to air condition, I don't have to run lights on, I don't have to put maintenance in to fix things. That's a whole lot of money you're saving. So that's the real answer, is to combine people. Or, the more obvious answer is to 
give people in the empty apartments. Okay. I don't think you'll have a question as far as I just thought of the homework, but eh, you got a mess with your mind, so. Okay. Let's go on to the end here then.